there is a very, very, very tiny little sliver. And there's, wow. All right, I'm stepping out of the way for a second. The street lights are coming on. Look at how dark it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you, we can actually see a planet. I believe that's Jupiter up there. Okay. Wow. I'm at 327. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. This is, this is unreal. Wow. Wow, Steve, uh, tell me what, how you're feeling. So yeah, so we're, uh, we're adjusting our camera right now. We're getting, we're getting ready for the moment when uh, we're gonna be able to show you exactly uh, what this looks like without any having to use any special lenses. It is really a strange feeling, Haley. It almost feels like, you know, we're, okay, this is the best way I can describe it for folks. When you're sitting in a theater and the, they, they dim the lights or they bring up the lights just a little bit for one scene and there's like a, a, like a very, uh, very dim light. That's the best way I can describe it. And now as I'm looking over the mountains where we are, I'm also seeing dusk essentially. And I'm looking all around and I'm seeing dusk. Uh, so on the western horizon, there's just this amazing glow of dusk, despite the fact that the sun is still high in the sky. It is just incredible to see. And this is about to be the last light, Haley, until oh we get to totality. Gosh. I'm watching maybe one oh. more. Yes. Wow. What are you seeing? Oh my gosh. Sorry to interrupt you. We are, we're, we're in totality no, please. here. I just took my glasses off. Cheering here oh too. My, my Lord. The... Cheering here too. Yeah. They're screaming. Can you hear people screaming down the road? Um, yep. Wow, and this truly is amazing. Uh, this is this is darkness. I mean, this is darkness. This is what you would expect at seven o'clock at night. Uh, it, it, this is incredible to see. And now folks are all looking right now. Uh, the dusk is the amazing thing too. And you look and you can see other planets. Folks are looking for Venus and other areas right now. Uh, it really is incredible to see. Uh, and Haley, when I look up now, uh, it appears we are in totality. Yeah, and what's interesting is I can see like different colors around the edges of the of the moon. Um, and there's almost like some reds and some blues and you can certainly see the atmosphere of the sun, the corona. Um, and there's like these spikes that come out from it. It, it just looks absolutely amazing. And yes, um, off to the, the east and actually now the west starting to see some daylight on the horizon. But it is absolutely dark as night here. All of our lights are on. I don't know if you can see me now, but I've got the lights from our truck. Um, but that's the only thing that's illuminating me. It's completely nighttime here. Um, and I can see uh, stars and planets that are out, um, can see planes uh, flying through, but it really is truly amazing how the sun looks right now. And I can imagine, you know, if you didn't know this was going on, how miraculous this would be to people. But even now, oh, we've got people screaming, people are walking around, um, no glasses on. We're beginning to see the hints of some light, more light when I look to the west, which is where we'll begin to see the totality end. But um, truly remarkable. I mean, it, it feels like everybody's just soaking up this moment here. Yeah, and, and Haley, the other thing too is when you see that corona, knowing that it's actually uh, even brighter and more powerful than, than the sun itself, it's just a thin layer and that's what's so incredible. And seeing that little speck of red at the bottom is incredible as well. Uh, it, it is just remarkable to see. The silence is incredible. Everyone looking up uh, without the glasses and the darkness is, is just surprising. The lights came on here just like it happened for you guys in Pittsburgh. Um, and, and this is the moment, and you know, as I'm looking around too, I'm trying to see, can we see the comet? Can we see other planets? Uh, but this, this 360 degree dusk is just, it, it's awe-inspiring um, as we see this for this three minutes or so. And the other thing I've noticed is the temperature has really dropped like dramatically. I'm talking maybe yeah. 10 degrees. Um, folks are throwing their blankets on like, wow, uh, it, it is so, so cool. But I will tell you, besides the initial cheers, it is silence right now. And I can tell you, uh, we've definitely left totality. You can tell it's getting brighter right now. Ooh. All of a sudden it's like Ooh. the dimmer yep. switch is being turned on. Here it is. Here it goes. Yeah we're, yeah, we're losing it. I've got to put the welding glass back up. Um, but just, oh, it's so amazing. Um, Absolutely beautiful. Mike, what's it like uh, in the studio there for you guys? Yeah, well, you know, we've actually stepped outside, Haley, and what's interesting about it is 
that the temperature, despite us being at 95 and a half percent, has dropped significantly here. And it's kind of that eerie, almost looks like, um, you know, one of those summer days where there's that smoky haze. Uh, but up north, I'm curious, did you get any uh, difference in animal it's getting light out again. you noted? Very quickly, getting light out again. Oh, we're losing it. Any odd behavior for the animals up there? Coming back. Yeah, not much. Uh, All right, again, so, you can really do without these glasses okay, because so if we're, you look at we're your... seeing the lights coming back on um, very quickly here, in fact. And when I put the welding glass or my glasses on, I can start to see the sliver uh, coming back here, especially on the bottom of the sun. We're starting to see it coming back from the moon. The moon's actually moving kind of upwards. And so that's where we're getting the light. But it's amazing. All of a sudden, we're right back to daytime instead of, uh, of full nighttime. Um, the temperature has definitely dropped. Um, the, school, the school over here, has a thermometer on their little screen here and we definitely went from about 58 to um, that last check it looked like about 51 50 degrees um, but the street lights they're on still um, and we're pretty much right back to it right back to daylight and it will take <laughs> and actually here come all the cars <laughs> it's pretty amazing that um, totality is over and now everybody is exiting but um, we still have a show here of about a half hour to 45 minutes for the rest of this eclipse to fully end. So we'll still have a pretty cool viewing of the moon continuously moving up and revealing the sun again. And we'll gain, of course, a lot more light. But it's actually remarkable, all the people kind of heading out already. Um, one thing to note, I can still see darkness to our east, so the shadow is still visible. It looks really dark, almost like a thunderstorm off to the, um, to the east of us here. Um, but as far as what's happening now, we're, we're quickly gaining light. So um, it's certainly not as dark as it was, um, but it was remarkable. Um, I hope you were able to kind of soak it up a little bit like I was here, the darkness. It was quiet, it was cool, um, really just amazing to see. All right, so Steve is back with us. Hi Steve, what's it like for you there? Wow, we're coming out the other side, Haley. It's <laughs> it was, it got way darker than I was expecting it to. Um, it, like th that was incredible. Uh, it, and folks just got silent, like you could see everything. And even, even right now, as it's, you know, we're essentially getting the show in reverse now, right? As it, passes along the other side. So this is still an experience right now. And now it's the brightening is occurring, but it was remarkable to see the Corona, uh, remarkably to see the, the planets as you're looking out and then to have the, the sun up there, but then to have the dusk on the horizon with just beautiful colors was really, really cool. I will tell you, it has gotten noticeably chillier here too.